In PowerShell, commands are called as commandlets, pronounced as command hyphen let. So if you want to get the information about, let's say, a web server, then the command will be get hyphen web server. This is collectively called as commandlet. A commandlet lets you manipulate the features of an entity, which is web server in this case. Let's take another example. In your computer, there are several processes that are running. If you want to retrieve all the processes, then you just say get hyphen processes. How about services? You got a whole lot of services running on your computer. And if you want to get all those services on the screen, then the way to get that is by typing get hyphen service. Probably you want to start a particular service from the list of services. Then the commandlet used will be start hyphen service followed by the service name. So if it was an English class, then I would just say that each commandlet name consists of a standard verb hyphenated with a specific noun. Now, get is not the only verb that can be used. There are several actions that can be taken on nouns. For example, get for retrieving information, set for modifications, format for formatting data, out for sending output to the file, this list can really become exhaustive. You may ask me, is there a way I can get the list of verbs that can be used? Well, the answer is right there in the statement. You can use get-verb to get all the verbs that can be used in PowerShell. So let's start with our first baby steps in PowerShell with get-verb.